walk, talk, and can even be charming. Hello. Great to meet you. Some give their visitors a winning smile, always a good survival strategy. Man and machine are having close encounters at the London Science Museum. It can be an emotional experience, even a disturbing one. <clears throat> Robo Thespian is a humanoid robot, one designed to be like a human being. That includes its communication style. Coming face to face with a mechanical human has always been a little scary. Over the centuries, each generation experienced this afresh as new waves of technology heralded new robotic forms. That sense of unease, of something you cannot quite put your finger on, goes to the heart of our, or should I say your, long relationship with robots. Robot is the name of an exhibition in London devoted to artificial intelligence. The broad range of AI creations is daunting. Over 100 humanoid robots are collected here. The oldest date back to the late Middle Ages. One is this mechanically praying monk. Their movements were based largely on clockwork, um, so they were repetitive and predictable. They couldn't react with the, you know, the real world as, as we do. Um, but it's the basis on which a lot of modern-day robots um, were founded. Some are cute, others fascinating, even eerie. Robots are increasingly populating the human world. But how much space can or should they be given? To think about you know, the benefits that this technology might bring to our society, but also the consequences, and to imagine you know, what sort of future do we want with robots, because I think it is a big question for our society to have to think about, not just humanoid robots, but all robotic technologies. Robots have already moved into many areas of modern life. They've become an indispensable part of industry and research. They're also popular as toys, or as actors on the big screen, or on stage. With humanoid robots, there's this um, desire, I think, first of all, to build them for entertainment. Um, I think we've always just been entertained by this idea of creating mechanical people. Um, it's, it, Humanoid robots is also a way of demonstrating our technological advancements, so the human body is amazingly complex, so trying to recreate it through technology available to us has always been a challenge for people. But even the most advanced model androids still have a long way to go before they can replicate human capabilities. There are so many moving parts, so there are 12,000 parts in this robot, and we have to make every one of them. And if one of them is wrong, nothing works. So it's extremely complicated. Today's robots are no match for the complexity of the human being, but their development is accelerating by leaps and bounds.